Hello guys, so we have just passed the typhoon and we were near Shanghai when this happened and now the weather is already okay but during this morning checks I have found in the reefer monitoring system that we are having seven reefer troubles so come and join me in this new vlog in fixing these seven reefer troubles for those who are new to this channel, my main job on board is to take care of these refrigerated containers. And for this vessel, it can accommodate up to 956 refrigerated containers. During the rounds, I have found out that this reefer is having this alarm 018. And to check the description, alarm 018 means discharge pressure high. For this reefer under carrier, we can check the actual discharge pressure in the controller by accessing the code 14 or CD14. And CD14 is for compressor discharge pressure. The unit has stopped its operation because of the activation of the high pressure switch so I have decided to switch off the unit and check if I can clear this alarm good thing that the high pressure switch was cleared and then we need to observe what will be the actual pressure on CD14 once the compressor started running as you may have noticed that the discharge pressure skyrocketed from 76 bar pressure all the way to its maximum or to its limit of more than 100 bar pressure. This is a type of container which can accommodate up to 120 bar pressure. Once it reach the limit of the high pressure switch, it will be activated and stop the operation of the system. So the first thing that comes to my mind when we have this high discharge pressure is to check the filter dryer or one of the solenoid coil if they are activating or not. And to check the condition of the filter dryer, we need to sense the inlet and outlet of the filter dryer to see if there is a temperature difference. Upon checking, the filter dryer is okay. I cleared the alarm again and started running the unit. And I have noticed after that that there is a formation of ice. And this is after the high pressure expansion valve. Since this is a coil and to easily check it, we need to remove the coil and run the unit, put the screwdriver and see if it is being magnetized. So upon checking, the coil is not attracting the screwdriver. This means two things. The controller might not be giving the activation voltage on the coil or the coil is the one that is really defective. Good thing that we have this spare coil, so I'll just plug it in and check what will happen. After replacing the coil, then I run the unit and check what will be the reaction of the CD14. And upon checking, the CD14 is stable at around 78 to 85 bar pressure. In this condition, I kept the unit running and proceeded to other reefer troubles. I know for sure that the unit is running in good condition now. By the way, this is a carrier unit under the natural line family. It is called natural line because it uses refrigerant R744 or a CO2. I will make a separate vlog in this kind of refer so that we will all be familiarized what is the whole operation and 
different parts in this kind of container. For this river, the water went inside the control panel so we need to dry it up and I hope we can actually fix it immediately and this is coming from the inside water that water so this was also found off and let's see we will reset the breaker another unit that is off and we will check what is the cost we are also have another one and most of the troubles that we have found is the connectors like they terminate some cable damage and then the water enters into that um, connector so we need to replace those and others have cable break and others are the plugs so Just like what I have said, the reefer is my main responsibility on board. The main goal is to have a zero damage reefer. I have been doing this kind of job for the past 10 years now. That was off because of the... After terminating the cables, replacing power plugs, and putting splice kits on the damaged cables, we are now down to the last reefer. Please always observe safety whenever you are working in any kind of job on board. So for the last reefer trouble, it is giving an evaporator alarm. So I have decided to open the evaporator compartment and check what is the condition of the motor. And upon checking, this is what I have found out. The evaporator fan blade was completely damaged. So I dismantled the evaporator fan motor and installed a new one. So this is the usual life that I am having on board. Regardless of how much workload you are having on board, the most important is that everyone is safe. This is your Lucky Jake and see you on my next vlog.